Experience the perfect interplay of the Simatic S7-1200 with a new task-oriented engineering framework, modular controllers, and the integrated WinCC BASIC for the configuration of Simatic panels. This podcast shows you how to create and use project and global libraries in the totally integrated automation portal. Chapter 1. Overview. Libraries enable you to store the automation objects you want to use more than once throughout a project or across projects. You can reuse these objects many times throughout your projects and save valuable engineering time. The project and global libraries are located in the libraries task card. The project library, where you can store the objects that you want to use more than once in the current project. The global libraries, where you can store the objects you want to use more than once in multiple projects. The elements view, where you can display the elements of a library. The parts view, where you can display the contents of each library object. Libraries can accommodate a large number of objects. These include complete HMI panels and complete controllers or individual modules, HMI process screens and graphic objects, HMI tags, program blocks, technological objects, PLC tags, and watch tables. Chapter 2. Project Library Each project has its own project library and is part of the project. Opening or closing the project therefore always also relates to the project library. Application examples to use libraries effectively are, for example, saving of objects that are used several times in the project, backup of different block versions, saving of blocks that are not to be loaded into the main memory of the controller, saving of blocks that are still being processed. To store objects in your libraries, use drag and drop to move the corresponding object from the work area, project tree, or detail view to the library. We will add several objects to the project library, beginning with a function call. Next, we will add a function block to the project library. Finally, we will add an HMI graphic object group to the project library. Chapter 3 Global Library You can create your own global library to store the objects you want to make available for use in other projects. Creating, changing, saving and transferring these global libraries is performed independently of the project. The library is saved in an independent file that you can save to your computer or network. The global libraries contain three libraries that are delivered with the system. The HMI buttons and switches, Modbus and USS libraries. These libraries provide you with ready-made functions and function blocks. You can use these supplied global libraries, but cannot modify them. With the library's task card displayed, we will first create a new global library. We will add several objects to this global library, beginning with a controller tag group. Next, we will add a complete HMI unit.
Finally, we will add a configured analog input signal module. A global library is stored in a separate file, which contains the objects of the global library. Remember that saving the project does not save or update a global library. You must click the Save the Changes to the Library button. Chapter 4. Adding the Libraries To use an element of a project or global library, open the library so that you can see its elements. The USS Protocol Library is a global library which contains functions and function blocks to configure your S7-1200 controller to control drives. We will use the USS DRV instruction in our program. Simply drag the element from the library to the working area. Chapter 5 Summary You can store all objects that you need frequently in the project or global libraries. An object that is stored in a library only has to be configured once. It can then be used repeatedly, as often as required. With libraries, you can reuse objects many times throughout your projects, and therefore save valuable engineering time. Additional information is provided on our website.